Hey, you're up. <laughs> oh, good morning there. Hey, oh, look, rubbish, bit of rubbish. Bit of rubbish, bit of rubbish. That's 10 to 7 on a, on, a, on, a, on a Monday morning. We're setting off early because uh, we left the tools down the new yard. And uh, I was saying to Jack when we got in this morning, we both got in, well, I was a bit late. I woke up late. Clock changed, wasn't it? No, well, I don't even blame it on that. Oh, I just right. didn't hear my alarm. Oh, right. uh, I got in at 6, which is late for me. Uh, but I was saying to Jack, just how much we've got to do this morning. Like, it's a crazy morning. Got a new job starting. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Press the little buttons. And algorithm. 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 What you lot are is you're becoming the algorithm helpers. You are. You're, you're assisting the algorithm in defining us as great content. So stay tuned for what will be another Action. Game's uh, oh, uh, no, 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 sorry, Jack, go on. No, 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 after you, good sir. Oh, sorry, I was going to say another action packed week. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's all the tools loaded up, guys. Chunky was actually here over the weekend. Uh, of course, he was uh, getting all the wiring sorted. We've got a nice wire sticking out here now for our pillar light. And He's got the power through for the showers and stuff. Can't help that. Can't help but work that bloke. Also, we realised that actually it's Tuesday morning, not Monday morning, because it was a bank holiday. Feels like a Monday though. So guys, we've been to the new yard to get the tools. Chunky was just loading up the 1.7 and a one-ton dumper for hire. And it would seem like the Easter Bunny's been here over the weekend and played around with our dumpers. This one, diesel line just blew off. One of the sort of filters or something inside. Diesel everywhere, covered in diesel. This one, the newest dump we own, it's only got about 300 hours on it. Uh, some sort of fuel problem. Some sort of fuel, they worked work last week. Over the weekend, someone, the Easter Bunny's been in and given it some jip. So we are trying frantically to get one of these dumpers to be sufficient. Uh, it's not how we like to roll, guys. Uh, we have just mended the thwaites, but, uh, but we're having issues with batteries. It's one of them mornings, guys. One of them mornings. So uh, you'll probably tune in later on when we've uh, solved the issues. Yeah, uh, that one's got no charge in it. This one's... Uh, yes. Sent to test us, guys. Sent to test us. Plus, the weather is shaping up for a bit of a wet one. So, hey-ho. We have these weeks. I doubt it. Two machines going out the door. We do need to sort out this trickle charge situation because I've had enough of batteries going flat and I'm spilling diesel, look at that, look. Waste of diesel. But they're going out, we've got them out. It's all that matters. Well, what a joyous Monday, no, Tuesday. We were back on a Tuesday after the bank holiday. What joyous Tuesday morning that was. We wanted to be on site by nine o'clock. We wanted the machines out by eight o'clock. We wanted tools loaded by eight o'clock. That's now nine o'clock and nothing, nothing's out. Nothing's loaded, isn't it, Jack? So we got that started anyway. Bit of a uh, bit of bodgery. We just took the there was a little T, a uh, little right angle aluminium 90 going into the fuel filter. So we got rid of that and gone direct to the fuel filter. That one started. That's going out on high, isn't it, Jack? Uh, Wackanoosen. It's we're on the we're on the dumper struggle today. Dumper struggle. That one there is started also. Seems to be that that one there has uh, decided by itself to empty all the filters out and go back to the tank. So we filled the filters back up. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. He's meant to ring me, but he hasn't. Filled the filters back up um, and got it started. So that's that started. So we've gone through two jump packs, five litres of fuel, many man hours, and we're finally back on track. Aren't we, Jack? Chunky's gonna drop the digger off. It's a new customer you see today. A new customer who's never used us. So we always try and make an effort. Um, and the machines are, well actually, yeah, the machines are 35 minutes late on site, but they're there. one machine's there now and the next one's going. So we are getting there. Jack's color coding the boards with his atrocious handwriting. That's hurt your head, doesn't it? That's hurt your head doing that, hasn't it? So yeah, we're gonna get on now and get get on site. We told we'd be there by nine. It's uh, five past nine now, but we're we're, we're getting there. Are we, Jack? We're getting there. Do you feel better about it now? Oh, we're me and Sam very different trains of thought when things go wrong. 
My train of thought is laugh it, laugh through it, laugh through it. Sam's train of thought is to smash the place up and swear a lot. I just don't need it, do you? Together, we've got them sorted. I don't know how Jack can be so happy about the situation. Because <laughs> it's life. We're in the thick of it, the thick of life. Yeah, and I get stressed out of bits, like bits and bits, because it, it could all be prevented, you see. We run a higher fleet, but we're not very good at keeping on top of things, because yeah. there's so much else going on. What we need is our staff to do more, because mine and Jack's heads are full every day with 100% running the business. Yeah. What's next? What's coming next? What we've got to order? Who we've got to please? What we've got to do? What we've got to book in? Where we've got to be? And yet, uh, the staff just do eight till five, uh, and they should really keep on top of it all. It's in their forte to do so. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. I mean, it, we can do a lot more as owners, but I think they can do more. Yeah. Didn't they? What are you with now? Opening, Opening list. list. Bye bye. Yeah. We're here, we are here at the job. Uh, it's at St Peter's School, Headingham. It's actually the sister school of the one we done last year. Yes, where the digger was stolen. We're going to court for in a week or two. Anyway, we are, let's, aren't we? let's go and see what's going on. I forgot about that. So, yes, we're here, guys. We are here. And it's, it's a lot smaller than the last time we did a job for the, this nursery group. But basically, the long and short of it is that this area that we're standing on, this hard stand, will have a lovely slanted tin roof to keep the children dry in the rain and keep the sun off them in the summer. Uh, three posts along here, Bosch, Bosch, Bosch. Two intermediate posts and then three posts along there. 3.3 meter, we can't attach to the school, so we have to go up and sail under that that roof, give it enough of a fall down, tap the drainage in, jobs are good in. So we're gonna get post set today, timber work tomorrow, and if we can tin it tomorrow as well, that'd be a dream. Be a lovely little two day job. And of course it's uh, East Holidays, hence while we're here. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get some tools unloaded and get a roof built. Well, get posts in. So guys, we're just discussing post locations. If we want to maximise the space, uh, but also we've got to worry things about those uh, drains here. Uh, there's guttering here that we need to make sure we're away from because we can't affix to the school. Uh, this is a temporary structure, even though we're obviously post creating it in. Yeah, the last one we've done, we fixed it all the way to the, to the building, all the way around, so we could frame off of that and get our fall nicely. This one is all independent from the building, which means we've got eight posts haven't we yeah one that end one that end two in the middle and three down that end but we've what we didn't take into account three really. one two three four five six seven eight yes what we didn't take into account was the drains no well we knew they were here but we didn't know where we were going to do it so this corner post might be offset from all the others just to make it work yeah and again it's going to be offset down here as well isn't it unless we go the other side of the fence Hmm. Well, it means not breaking up concrete if we're going down there. Yeah, put one in there. Out of the way, isn't it? Although, what's that there? It's a manhole, isn't it? Yeah, so it won't be going there. <laughs> go in that corner. Yeah. yeah okay. Matter. Wherever they go, we can make it up with the framework. Exactly. So, we are going to lift some slabs and assess base and try and dig some push holes. Okay, guys, we're going to get these posts. just started digging the post holes one two three i was a bit dubious about jack using the post hole bore but it turns out that we have nearly we're 800 mil holes here 
and it is sand, sharp sand, from top of hole to bottom of hole. <laughs> no wonder they've got loads of pits in Essex. Top of hole to bottom of hole, I mean, I did so, we should start bagging it up and selling it. Just sharp sand, completely sharp sand. Unreal. So it's making our lives a lot easier. Yeah. And we've got a footing, the footing for this building at 800 deep to sit the post on. It's lovely, isn't it? It is lovely, Sam. What is it? It's lovely. And also? Uh, fantastic. Uh, transferable. It's transferable. Absolutely, it's transferable. you know what I mean? I imagine, well, all I do for these holes is cut through the concrete. And hopefully we have the same same situation, but I uh, imagine they've based this out with some hardcore. We'll, we'll soon know. We'll I mean, you would have thought they would have based these out with hardcore, but they haven't. Fair point. So we'll see, Jack. Legs has gone for the fug look this week. Got a haircut in your legs. I'm oh, sorry, guys, we can't call him legs anymore. He's getting a bit annoyed with legs. So we now call him Rodney. Isn't that right, Rodney? No, you're I tell you, he's a happy chap, isn't he? Long, isn't he, Andy? You plonker. You plonker. Oh, legs, mate. What a morning, guys. What a morning. All eight posts now set. So there's those three, the two middles, and the ends. We've cut round the slab to reset so they can go back in. Andy is just repairing the concrete we broke through to get the posts in. And we are measuring up for the timber work. Measuring up for timber work. Uh, so we can bring the, the correct timber tomorrow to, uh, where do you want to go, front or back or where? Uh, yeah, enough timber, we've got the tin, we've a little bit of gutter in to go along this edge and then tee off into that down part there. And uh, that's it, simple, simple, proper simple. We're hoping to be done tomorrow, which will be lovely. Yeah. So that's us done for today, guys. Well, at least on site. All eight posts in and set. Slabs reset. So the posts are almost sort of recessed into the slabs. All the concrete re renewed. Uh, timber on order. Guttering on order. Yes. And tomorrow we'll be back. Get the framework up. Get the tin on. Job is a good one. Righto. Well, we're back with wooden bolts, guys. It's been a bit of an afternoon. We've been to several suppliers, all of whom couldn't help with everything, could help with some things, took a long time. Uh, but we got the timber we needed. We got uh, uh, private roads. Uh, we got 28 lengths of 6x2, uh, 10 lengths of 4x2, 8 lengths of 4x2, all the by twos. Lo lovely selection of bolts, uh, lovely bit, bit of bolt work, lovely. And uh, the, the timber was a bit wet, it's all straight though, a bit wet. And, but we're here. And also on the way past, on the way past, uh, the local fruit and veg emporium with Dave. I don't know, he's in there. He, uh, we were, I was in a traffic jam and I saw Dave. Oh, good old Dave. He come running out of the shop, he did. It's, uh, it's an opening. He got, yeah, he come running out of the shop with a bag. And uh, this is our mate Dave from the Fruit and Veg Emporium. To Jack and Sam, love Dave, 
the fruit and veg emporium. So we don't know what it is. Should we open it? Yeah, if it's rude, I'll cut this bit. Dave, you're a good old boy, mate. I mean, I don't know if it's beats a free coffee or not. Yeah, but it might be a free coffee. Don't spill it. What is it? What's he got up here then? Samuel Le Mans. Of course, it's, it's, it's a tea towel <laughs> with, with owls on it. Oh, Dave. <laughs> that's quite literally, it's a, a tea towel. Owl tea towel. Dave, that's a tea towel. Oh, that's quality, mate. You know where that's going, Dave? Try the price in the office, isn't it, Jack? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah, in the kitchen. Hello, what do you think to that, viewers at home? That's following Sam's rubbish dad joke of tea towel I being the most good. Oh, and actually, Jack, most people in the comments thought it was good as well. Because <laughs> you didn't know what was coming, you thought it was brilliant. Yeah, it was good. Dave, I'm going to cherish that, mate. That is awesome. Lovely. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. I like Thank it. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, a free coffee to go along because we can walk yeah, on it. Yeah, exactly. A tea towel and a free coffee. <laughs> good old boy, Dave. Lovely. Right, we're going to get this timber and I'm going to leave it here. Let it dry out a bit, I think, are we? Let it, oh mate, wet is an understatement. We need this off. We need this off. Look, it's yeah, like, look, look, look. There's already a puddle. Puddle of what? Water. That ain't off of there. Oh, I swear, oh, I swear down, that no, is off there. Look, it's dripping, there. look, dripping, mate. Dripping. That is dripping wet, mate. That is dripping, Sam. Look. In case you don't believe me, guys. Dripping wet, dripping wet. All right, okay. Oh, and we loaded, Sam and Chunky loaded the flatbed at the weekend with auctions and stuff. So, uh, we'll have to show you tomorrow what, what Sam is parting with. Uh, he told me earlier that he went through everything and said, I'm gonna sell that. And then went to get it out and realized he doesn't wanna sell it. So, I'm not sure what he's, what's on there. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna go set some invoices. It's another day done. Another day done. What have we been on today, Chunky? Huh? Yep. That's what Chunky's been on today. Right, mate. Got all the tools in, right. ready for tomorrow. Connor's here. And back at it again tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Of a I've got a, uh, a, a, um, a question for you guys. What was, before Dane's low, what was Chunky's occupation? What was Chunky's occupation? Yeah, what well, was just it? in general? Just what has he been doing for years? What's Chunky been doing for years? I don't know. All, all sorts. Hey. Who are you? It's all right, you can cut this. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, uh, full metal jacket. Yeah. You know the yes. film Full Metal Jacket? Yeah. Uh, what's it, Cowboy? Or someone? You look like a, you look like a military, American military, yeah. Connor. These guys look... Yeah. <laughs> that's getting cut. Okay. Well, that's us all loaded up. Wednesday morning, bright and early. Chunky left at about 10 past six. He's gone up to Cavanham to drop a load off. We've just emptied the transit off because that's out on deliveries when Chunky gets back. So we've chucked all the wood on the new trailer behind the Ranger. So we're all set for today, timber work today. I do enjoy a bit of timber work. So we're gonna get set up in the dry and crack on. That is the plan. We've got all the framework to put up today. And then I think we're going to go for breakfast at some point, which will be nice, because we're in Headingham, which means when we're in Headingham, we visit the local calf. We like it there, don't we? Yeah, it's a nice calf. I can't remember what it's called. Cool. There's a chop saw on site for that, mate. That's And then, you've got to look at this. See, a foot long pencil into two uh, six inch pencils. Lovely. And then I'll sharpen up. So yeah, we're gonna get crack on. We're gonna get the framework up, go for breakfast, get back to the tin work. That is the plan. We want to be out of there today. Not sure if that will happen, but uh, weather dependent as always. It started being a bit drizzly and mizzly. Bit of a crap night, really, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we'll be out there today. I think breakfast should be uh, uh, should be uh, on the provider that we are out of there today. Yeah, no, but if we're not out there today, we can't have breakfast at four o'clock. <laughs> 
So that, that, no, that, everyone has to give it back. Work. It's not going to work. Yeah, they can just fire it back up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, we'll see how we get on, but that is the plan. We've got to crack on. Chunky's coming back from Cavanham, doing deliveries. He's got to pick machines up, although we might pick them up on the way back if we get time. So yeah, it's all goo, 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 goo. What is it, Jack? Goo, 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 goo. I hope you're enjoying the video that dropped this morning, the Colin Furs one. I thought we'd do a little name drop there just to get us some more views. <laughs> Didn't we, Jack? <laughs> yeah, it's completely shameless. Yeah, it seems to work. I've got a moustache. A moustache? Yeah, yeah. Mustache. Hmm. You look Hello. like, um, what's it called? I can't think of his name now. Yeah, him. That French conductor. Uh, yeah. Mozart. Mozart. <laughs> Yeah. That's uh, a bit of culture right there. That is. We'll name drop him. We'll name drop Mozart. Yeah, Sam's, some, Sam's some wisdom. I know, mate. I'm a wise man, mate. Um, a wise man once told me, never trust a man that eats fish sticks at 8 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? No, I do remember yeah. that. Uh, anyway, bye-bye. So we're on site, guys. We are here. It's, uh, it's obvious that we've got a new trailer. Sam's not used to the length. The... <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, yeah, the, the, the lady, you've gone over the edge of the, the, edge of the steep slope. But uh, apparently it was intentional. And that was to make it easier to disembark the wood and take it down yonder. It is transferable. Yeah, hopefully the handbrake holds out. <laughs> but yes, 28 lengths of six metre, six per two. What are you in a wheelbarrow for? That's oh, right, oh, we've got a Connor. We've got, we've got a lot of timber to walk yeah, down we've there first. We've got a lot of a cowboy. We? We've got a lot of timber to walk down there. And what are tools? Most of the tools are here, aren't they? Oh, we're in the back of the van, mate. 4 G clamps. How you getting on? How you <laughs> getting on? Uh, on the tissue boo today. Uh, yeah. Dave? Dave? Dave. Thank you, Dave. We're not going to say fruit and veg in Portman, we're just going to say Dave. Yeah, it's actually an office quote. Uh, office Christmas specials. Uh, what is? Fruit and Veg Emporium. Here we are. Caught me in my uh, my local fruit and veg emporium. <laughs> oh, where's Dave? Yeah. Dave. Um, also, what we've noticed is that wherever we go to build roofs, within the first day or two of us putting the roof up, they get another roofing company in. <laughs> 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 Hopefully, yeah. he's here to look at a different roof rather than the one we're doing. Yeah. I mean, they could have asked us to pay for it. Yeah. We yeah we've got and we've got a lot of wood. Got a lot of wood to move. And so we won't bore you with it, uh, you, mate. but we'll uh, we'll get it all moved. We will bore you with it. It's called a time lapse. Bosh, bosh. So actually, the, the shortest lived time lapse. The plan is uh, why uh, take um, the mountain to Mohammed, take Mohammed to the mountain, or something like that. There's a, there's a saying there. Uh, we're going to set up chop shop here, so we haven't got to carry it all till it's cut. You see? Why move it all, cut it, and bring all the offcuts back when we can just cut it here? Right. So we're round here, guys. We're round here. We're building the roof. We've got a lovely, another one of our lovely auction wins. Little movable platform. Uh, got the ladders, and yes, first job is two. What is the first job? First job is we're going to put <clears throat> front and back up. So we've got either sail, so we'll sort out where we're over because nothing, these posts don't run square. Obviously, that one's offset, so I've got the over sail past here, put the yeah. over sail past here. I can't put the side up. Yeah, you see that. Because we had to move in because of the gutter, that post has to overhang, and it's the same oh, actually. Like yeah, and it's the same this side. There's a manhole under that dirt, so we had to offset that post. So yeah. each, so that corner and that corner are offset. So we're going to get front and back up, get the sides up. Once, uh, once the ring beam's round, we'll infill with doubles, joist dangers. Framed out by 11 o'clock, I'm saying. 11 o'clock. What time's it now? Check his watch. Uh, one hair past the freckle. One hair past the freckle. Uh, yes, so get the rest of the chop station up. And I guess Sam and Andy will be on uh, construction. Me and Connor will be on fabrication. That's where that's what I'm... That's how I'm pegging it. Uh, yeah, so it's about 10 past nine now. Sam reckons all framed out by 11. Bosh. It's 
So guys, we have the wood store, the cutting station. This is the bolting station. And then it goes down the post manufacturing corridor to the assembly point. Yes, production line. Wood, cut, bolt, travel, install. Jobs are good. Right guys, so the first bit, 5.1. Five, 5 meters 100, two bits at that, bolted together. So yes. So what are we doing the bolt holes at now? We know they're off 5.1 roughly all the way down. And we've got 60. Uh, so this is our this is our plan, guys. Andy has expertly drawn out a plan for bolting. 200, 200 from each end. 1.7, 1.7, staggering. Bolt, 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 screw, bolt, hammer. We're getting there. For a hammer. So that's the first cross beam in, cross here. 200 mil bolts through the posts, doubled up timber. That's the first one in. So that gives us a sort of guide to go off of now to build the rest. So as you can see, timbers are doubled up, bolted to the posts. Everything's square, everything's level, everything's plumb. So yeah, the boys are fixing them down there, cutting, fixing, bolting. They bring them to me and then between us, we get them up. Once we get the front and the back up, I can run the sides through and then we just got cross beams. So we should have just rattled out in a couple of hours. It ain't a lot of work, but we're getting there. We are getting there. So yeah, shout out to Mr. B for, uh, Mr. B, shout out to Mr. B for um, selling us his lovely trailer. Actually, I'm, I'm really enjoying having it. It's becoming a bit of a lovely asset to own. Uh, shout out to Dave, as always. Dave, you're gonna be in every video now, mate. We were making a point of just going to say your name in every video. We're just going to drop it in, oh, Dave. Also, also, hello. Also, a big shout out to Essex Radio Hire. Yes. We'll have to show you what they sent us later on. Yeah, I came in this morning and Jack had a box. I said, what's in that box? He said, oh, that thing we got sent for free. They sent us... Uh, we never thought we'd get to this stage <laughs> on YouTube, but we've been, we've been sent our first gift. How nice is that? Free of charge. And they're going to come in quite handy, aren't well, they? At least I think it's free of charge. I mean, he never said it's free. We haven't had an invoice yet. No. And if they send us one, we ain't paying it. So, uh, <laughs> but we have to, yeah, we'll show, we'll unbox, do an unboxing later on. Yeah, but what we'll do is we'll rebox and then we'll, we'll unbox. We'll rebox and unbox. Yeah. And my moustache is really prominent. It uh, is. Then we will give a big shout out to, I think it's Essex Radio Hire. Yeah, good old boys. I'll just be on the phone to Chunky. He's done Cavanham. He's now done the Bumpster delivery. Now he's doing another delivery out to Castle Camps. And then I told him to come here. He said, why? I said, because if you get here, mate, and we're nearly done, we're going for, we're going for breakfast. It's fry up today, is what I heard. The boys have all worked hard lately. Getting them stills in down the yard last week really made me and Jack happy. So we're going to treat them to a little fry up. And it will be a little one. I'm having a salad. Uh, Harriet, Jack's going to have a salad. If in case you watch this, Harriet, Jack's having a salad today. The sausages and the bacon that are on the plate are just invisible. No, what I might do, I might have a sandwich. I'm not going to have a fry up. OJ, OJ just commented, 450 square metres of concrete. Well, you're pretty bang on, mate, but you're in the drawer of everyone else. <laughs> so uh, let's, uh, let's see how you get on, mate. Some might say uh, these questions need to be a bit trickier. Yeah, I know, I'll tell you what to do, guys, as well, yeah? Because we're going to give you a question every week, but when we get back later, we'll show you the different types of key rings we've got. Because we've got six or seven types now and we don't know what to send people once they've won the key ring so 
every time you comment the answer that we want, put what key ring you want. So put yeah, we, yeah, 450 we, square meters of concrete, DL key ring. Did you say we're going to show them what we've got? Yeah. And also, uh, well done to last week's winner, who is Cut. Oh, howdy. Hello. We are, uh, we're just talking to Connor downstairs on the CB radio. On the Connor radio. To us by uh, Essex Radio Hire. Essex Radio Hire. You've, Connor Connor on the mic MC. You've, over. you've just joined us from the middle of the roofing job. Don't worry, Connor, mate. I know you're winding me up, mate. I'm not biting into this. Connor's trying to tell me there's, there's a spilled bottle of milk in the back of my motor. Uh, anyway, the winner of last week's question, question week. is Matthew Hulme. 5143. That's who it is. He said, Matthew morning, Hume. boys. Uh, 450 square metres. Matthew Hume's, isn't it? Hume. H-U-L-M-E. Matthew Hume. Matthew Hume. Oh, Connor, mate. How you getting on, mate? All right, mate. Yes, mate. Over. You're and on. so I've just oh, messaged you on YouTube to... Uh, 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 email us how your address and actually I need to give us I'll give you our email address I'm not joking, so anyway, you can send it over while we're on the uh, on the hype of the keyring hype hype uh, this is the selection we have there's many more to come and there's a few variations of each so at the moment we have a Danes Lowe special edition that's normally got a picture of a grab on it we have a chunk hey we have a lovely we have a DL matte black DL they're quite uh, sought, sought after, after. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Sammy boy or a Sam Danes Lowe we have a Danes Low, that's a new one. Uh, we have a Crack On. We have a Jack, lovely, I like that one, because it's got lovely written on it, Jack. We have a Crack On, we have an Andy, and we also have a Legs. Now there is another one of Legs somewhere, but I couldn't find it, of Legs with his uh, beanie hat on. i see if I can find it, guys, because it is quite special, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, Connor is quite special anyway. Um, but I mean, it has so many bags. Well, there it is. I found it. Now this one's quite special, guys. I mean, look at the look at the bags of keywings we have. Look, look at that one. Look, everyone's gonna be after that, ain't they? Look at that. Look. So, every time there's a winner, just please let us know what sort of keywing you want. Exactly. And good luck on this week's question, which I don't know if it's already been or will be coming. But watch this video for the question. What is it? What question, Connor? Is it the what's what's the question? Well, I was, I was hoping you'd say question of the week. Ooh, mm, question of the week. So one week you might be feeling spicy and think I'll have a jack key ring. The next week you might be feeling a bit down and sad and forget I'll have a legs key ring. Yeah. Or hop to the hip hop to the hip hip and then have a key ring of Sam. Yeah. Or yes. invisible and have an Andy key ring. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, what's guys. The, what, what mood they've got to be in the chunky? Oh, I have no idea. Any sort of mood. It's like a warm hug. A warm hug. A warm hug. Anyway, uh, anyway yes. What? Oh, what's that about? Anyway, it's back to the video. Back to the video. Hi, hi. Thank you. Come yeah. On. Yeah. So, for instance, 450 square metres, I want a Connor keyring, or I want a Legs keyring, or I want a Jack keyring, or I want a DL keyring, or I want a Sam keyring, or whatever. Or Chunk Hai. Chunk Hai. And then we'll send you that particular keyring. Because there's so many, isn't there? Yeah. And Sam's we don't want to send people a Chunky keyring if they don't like Chunky. Sam's mum, uh, alongside making Struggler Records, uh, has got a sweatshop for keyrings in her living room. Yeah. I, she's gone a bit over the top. I mean, I, lo I, love, I love what you do, mother. But, you know, we've got, like I said to you last week, the amount we've got now, I'm going to snap our desk in half. <laughs> we've got nearly 25,000 keyrings. Yeah. But she does do well, doesn't she? Yeah, no, they're nice. They're good. Be good one. We're starting to stock socks. We've got a backload of socks being stocked up in bags, ready yeah. for the merch wall. Key rings. Yeah, I think we'll have another. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of good stuff. See you next week. I'm a, I'm a chippy today. Eat the chippies, mate. Uh huh. Are oh, you, mate? Yeah. What are you doing? You measuring cut, yeah. cutting, cutting twice, measuring once. I cut twice, measure again, realise it was wrong, get a new bit of wood. <laughs> or I mean, or are you super glued back together? Some might say it's not as catchy, but uh, it's a bit more piffy, maybe. Piffy, yeah. We're, yeah. we're trying to have as little off cuts as possible. Yeah, although, so you may have seen earlier in the video, the absolute struggle that we had at MKM and Bill Base yesterday getting the white timber, because everyone had 5.4 lengths, and we couldn't remember if it was 5.4 would do, we thought it was 5.6. And we got here today, and of course, because we've got six metres, it's far from forward down. Yeah, but you don't know until you, you know, we can't, 
our memories are crap, so mem mem remembering that it would have worked is not a. Uh, oh yeah, well possible. I said, I said if we'd got five point fours, then we would have got here and it would have been. I did say before you mentioned it though that I was pretty sure I was, that measurement was in my head, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, five point four. But hey ho, right, you know see you soon. Yeah. So obviously where we've had to offset these corner posts, we've got to do a bit of jiggery pokery, so we've got to step this one out. Uh, and yes, so I'm going to get the ripsaw set to a 50 mil depth and uh, do some jiggery pokery. See, so what we've done guys, taken a slot out of this beam to set it back onto that post. Oh, up Connor. Right, you right there Andy? Yeah, up Connor. Up. Thus reducing the gap at this end. Right guys, we stopped now a coffee. Uh, we've got this end up, you see, we've got that end up. We're gonna go through the middle now. Uh, we were a little bit optimistic with our 11 o'clock frame out timeline, because it's quarter two, and we've got two bits of wood up so far. But set, uh, measure twice, cut once, eh, hey, Connor? Basically, get, every, get the foundations right, get it all tickety-booed, all level, all square, all plumb, and then the rest of it should be a doddle. That's what we're thinking, Connor, right, mate? Lovely. got to move the trailer a little bit because we're in the way for the awesome little chipper I'll show you oh and look who's here look who's turned up Chucky Chunky is giving our neglected uh, chisel a bit of a spruce up. They, uh, they got wet about two years ago and rusted up and we haven't cleaned them really. So the Chunky is. So now guys, we're on to joist hangers. So for those of you who don't know what a joist hanger is, it does what it says on a tin, it hangs a joist. So it's literally a metal cradle that gets attached like so with twist nails which are very short stumpy little nails they've got a bit of a twist to them they sort of lock into the timber and then that literally hangs the joists across and obviously these are four inch hangers enough for a doubled up bit of timber just like that into there bosh go along So the main framework round is now up uh, and then what we're doing now is measuring out for the cross beams that are going across with hangers. So there'll be five in each bay, doubles going across. So these will be all like this, all this way because the tin's running downhill and then noggins in between, tin, guttering. We were hoping to get done today but the, this first bit took us a bit longer than we were expecting. Uh, it's. Uh, it, we like it to be precise, so everything's double, triple checked and notched and uh, all the other words that carpenters use. Yeah, right, cool. That's a bit wet. It's a little bit wet, but we're cracking on nonetheless. Getting all the joist hangers up, 
Got to do those ones on here. Getting all the doubles bolted together, ready to go across. And yeah, we were hoping to be out of here today, but that was a bit optimistic. Apologies if you can't hear me, that chipper's going 10 to a dozen up there. Uh, but hopefully we get all the timber work done. And it's just a shorter day, tinning and guttering tomorrow. And everyone breakfast. Wants to look, and breakfast, you see. Uh, yes, anyway, I'm going to get up here and uh, do some more twist nails. How, how are you getting on at home? Yeah, we're wet. We're wet and puppy here, aren't we, Jack? Got all the joist hangers up, though, along each side. Doubles all the way along, all the way along that side. It's one of them little boring jobs. You've got five, ten... 20 joist hangers, that must be a thousand nails. Uh, yeah, it's just a shit job. So we are now on to putting the beams up. So the boys are out there making these doubles, getting them all made up. Once Jack's finished nailing up, we'll put the beams in place, nail them all up, tech bolt them all up, strong as a house, ready for tin work tomorrow. Tin and translucent Yeah, we'll be out of here one o'clock tomorrow to the calf. Ain't that right, Jack? That's right. You viewers at home, that's right. You'll catch us tomorrow in the cafe at some point. We'll let you know where we are and when, what we're having. Uh, isn't that right, Jack? That's right, Jack. That's right, Jack. I'm going to have a fry up, a fully fledged fry up. Don't worry, uh, you lot at home, it'll be a health conscious fry up, won't it, Jack? Yeah. Health conscious fry up. Yeah. But anyway, it's coming on. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's just, a, it's just been pissing down. It's horrible. But it's all coming along swimmingly. Lovely, jubbly. If I never seen another twist now in my life, it'll be a, it'll be too soon. <laughs> We're cracking on, guys. We are cracking on. Uh, they're just not no lighter, they're not getting any lighter we've got almost all of the cross members up the joists the way. side to side oh. ones the long just length do your side yeah. which one are you going into connor yeah, this one. oh right cool well no it's just the sand was coming over that one but that's why because it's a bit long oh you're nowhere near the end con Hold on there, call me off for a second. Let's push it. Air's in, like a glove. Uh, yeah, two more to go. I've got to go and do the side twist nails. Uh, lovely. Hi guys, we are wrapping up for the day and the roof is completely timbered out. And I said to Sam, I wonder if uh, I wonder if the roof is good enough for the level challenge. The level challenge that you see on the internet, where you put a row of joists in and you have to push the level across it at some speed, uh, and if it just glides, then you know the carpentry is one hundred percent. If it gets caught up on different joists, then you know they're bodges. Yeah. So this is the Danes Low level challenge. Go on, yeah, Sam. This is the uh, you either master carpenters or bodges. Yeah. Are we bodges or master carpenters? Look at that. I need a bit more oomph. Really, yeah, I need some oomph. Get, give it some oomph. I'll give it a bit more oomph, mate. Give it some oomph, mate. Uh, it, either, it either was an, an oomph related issue or the, the bodging starts down that end. <laughs> I reckon with a bit of oomph, mate, that's always the end. No, I can't get a lot of swing on it. Well, come up in this one if you want. You've got to get a good bit of swing on it, mate. There's always got a bit of swing on it. We're up here in the rafters with them. Oh, look, that's our sewing panels. Right, second attempt. <laughs> oh, well, it made it. Yeah. It glided. Oh, it's on camera, yeah, lovely, okay, lovely view up here. Look, we've got a roof. Yeah, we'll maintain the place a bit better, don't they? The schools, mate, they've got no money. I, I, do, I need to find a happy medium now. This is a, pro well, this is a private nursery. They get to charge for their attendance. Not anymore, mate. Government have for 15 hours free child care a week. Uh, yeah, for, oh, are they? Yeah, yeah, from two, from two, yeah. from two. From, uh, from some age you get like 30 hours. Right, here we go. So, happy medium. I can't get it to twist, mate. I've come, yeah. I'm not the right angle. I think it's the level rather than the roof. I think we've worn this one out a bit, haven't we? Yeah, right. Once more. Oh, it glid, it glid down there then. You're right, mate. 
Helmet. We uh, bars, we're milking this. Sam did one monkey bar. I ain't gonna stretch my arms anymore like I used to teach Jack Marrow when I was a teenager. I used to be a big bloke. <laughs> 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 Probably stayed a long gone or so. Well, if, well, we'll slide, just give it a nice bit of gentle glide. Yeah, like, you enough to get it going. What do you want? A bit of oil on here, mate? A bit of oil. Yeah, a bit of shutter oil. <laughs> No, anyway, it works. Yeah, it, look, it worked all the way to there. I'd say that's a pass. Well, yeah. I'm going to come down this ladder now. I'm quite high I'm going to get a bit of, uh, put a bit of wax on that tomorrow, and that's going to... Yeah, we'll try, we'll try it again. We'll try again tomorrow. Do some shot all, mate. Okay, well, yeah, but the roof looks lovely, look. Lovely, lovely roof. Lovely. So we've got tin this tomorrow, and we've got some translucent sheets to go on, and then just a bit of gutter in at that end, down into this gutter coming in here. Lovely.